What's up, guys? Welcome to Checkpoint Japan YouTube channel. My name is Sandy. You can call me Sandals, and I'm in Japan, hence the name Sandals in Japan. You know, now I'm kind of going back in time and telling you about all the fun stuff that I did in April because April was a really cool month for me. So on April 1st, actually, the first day of the month,、uh, my friend Toshi san took me to. We went to this parking lot and we. Uh, there was a night meeting, which was really cool. It wasn't super crazy hectic or anything, but there were a ton of cars there, and it was really cool to see everyone and meet everyone. There was a bunch of cars with cool, fancy lights. You know, night meeting, classic evening, super fun for Saturday night. No complaints. Had a great time.、Uh, yeah, and then the next week, I went to the USS Tokyo auctions, which is the big auctions that everyone, you know, importers are all buying their cars through. We had a great time. It was huge, like massive. I'm telling, like, imagine like a university lecture hall, but like a Big university. You know, all the cars that are up for auction are on the screen there, and you see them. And then when they're actually like the auction is live, they come up on the monitor, and you go to the auction that you want, and you can you know click the button and bid and bid, and everything happens so fast. Like the the auctions are done within like twenty to thirty seconds. It's crazy. It's hectic, and yeah, it was super fun. You're you're not allowed to film inside of there. But it was really cool to see. You know, outside of the auctions, you have the opportunity to walk around in the lot and look at all the cars that are available for auctions. And when I say this parking lot is massive, like I'm telling you, this parking lot is enormous. It's like every Walmart all together parking lot. So if I win the lottery, probably one of the first things I'm gonna do is just go to the auction and start bidding. Is like so rare, and it's awesome, and it's in a great color tone, like two-way, two-tone rather. This is just awesome. And like the craziest thing is that you can actually go in some of the cars. Most of them are locked, but for example, this one has the key in it. I'm literally gonna go inside and start it. So yeah, this car is really rough start and driving. For me, I think what's been the craziest is just walking around and, like for example, you're just walking around and you see the、like、Gazette 32. But seriously, like Starfire Blue Koki S14. S14 is seriously. I used to really not like them, and I seriously love them now. I don't know what was wrong with me. I love them now. Like, there's just hella crowns, hella skylines, hella evos. It's awesome, and then a bunch of other stuff. Everything. Like this is just seriously the coolest place ever. You want an S15? You want a Miata? You want an Altezza? You want an RX8? I can go on. Like you want a Land Cruiser? You want a 60 series? You want a 70 series? You want a 90? You want an 80? Celica. Honda Civic, 
Why not? S15, FD, or X7. This is my favorite card. This one deserved its own clip because anyone who knows me knows this color and why it's so important to me. This was the color of my first 240, and it is the most beautiful. Um, maybe one day. Maybe one day. And this 180 is also really cool. It's on Long Champs, and it's got the Wangen spoiler, Wangen cell spoiler. I think it's B Wave spoiler. I don't remember. But it is actually a 1 via. The front end was swapped. And if you buy this, you're lucky because you get the brick headlights, which are very rare, very desirable. Look, there's literally a Hakoska. This is right here. Chilling. Just chilling. Like, what do you mean? And it's a coupe. What does this mean? I know that's a condom. I'm actually screaming and crying and throwing up. What do you guys think if I put this spoiler on my R32? Would that be disgusting? Would that be crazy? Let me know. I think it would be kind of funny. And then there's just these absolute society units. And there's literally a hearse, which is cool. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta die. This thing is literally hilarious. It looks so funny. I I love it. It's so cool and so pink. I don't even know what this is, like a Celsior? Celsior must defeat Hondor. 11 Hatch, Hachi Roku. These are definitely like the show-stopping cars of the day. This is the 2000 GT that I saw earlier. Very beautiful car, very nice. This is an actual, real Ken Mary GTR, um, Millennium Jade R34, which is pretty cool. The auctions was such a great time. And then later that week, I went to a daytime touring event, which was, a, like, I love daytime events. I'm so happy every time I get to go to an event in the daytime because the sun is out and you know you can actually see things really well and i was really glad to be a part of that i was really grateful for the you know opportunity to be a part of that with everyone That was really nice. That was, you know, a really great event. The weekend after that, I went to the Nostalgic Car Show, and I think this one was out in Nagano, so it was pretty far. It was a few hours away from 
Tokyo by car, but my friend Toshi-san again, we went together and it was so much fun. It was, this was probably my favorite event that I had gone to this whole month. Nostalgic car show was amazing. So many people, so many good cars, so many fun. <laughs> that wraps up April. It was such a fun month. Again, I'm really grateful that April happened. Might have been my favorite month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed me reliving my memories of April in Japan. <laughs> um, check out my shirt. If you like it, you can grab one from Checkpoint Japan's online store. It's linked in the bio. This is the embroidered shirt in agave. I'm gonna go eat a 7-Eleven pancake. Boom!